we happy because uh, we've got nice teeth to show the world <laughs> and a good heart. The people are, are happy to 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 share with with our with our guests, with our visitors. Mauritius is a beautiful small island, so people must take time to my sense that uh, to take time and 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 be with us and take some time with us. Mauritian people are so friendly and smiling, but I'm not the only one, <laughs> the only one who don't smile too much. But uh, you're most welcome to come and play our golf. This is an island in the Seine, and uh, we have got so much to tell to the world. Welcome to Frederica Nature Reserve. So the reserve made about 1,300 1, hectares of land. Normally in the reserve we have the whole chimney. Long, long time ago we do have a sugar cane in the reserve. And now we have uh, all removed all the sugar cane. We are concentrating on deer farming. We are in collaboration with the Mauritian Wildlife. So we are protect, protecting about the endemic bird. And also it's about quad biking, we have fun and also we have about explanation about the reserve, we, about a bit about the history of Mauritius. So in the reserve we have around uh, 2,500 years. Now we are at the highest point of the reserve, so it's the kiosk. We have uh, all the view and the ensemble view of the reserve all around and the domain of Belom also, we have the view from here. This is called the example waterfall when we do quad biking, trekking and 4x4 activity in, at Frederica Nature Reserve. We come here to visit this place uh, where customers and clients can swim. The water comes directly from the mountain, it's a fresh water, we can drink the water. Thank you for coming, we hope you enjoy the trip. We hope to see you back at the Frederica Nature Reserve again. Now we are in Sibis Club in Belon. Here you can do a lot. The, Belon, the domain is huge. Eh? You can do kite surfing, surfing, stand up paddle windsurfing, you can do as well uh, dolphins and wakeboarding, ski, you can do a lot. You need to come here to the kite globing, to the rest of the reception, you have a girl there, we're going to explain you all the activity, what we do before you do your lesson as, as well. I mean, we have everything there, you have the lagoon, you have as well the wind and you have as well the wave, you know what people is looking for. Huh? Yeah, this is a base. A place to do holiday sky surfing. Now uh, you are at Grigri, Grigri's famous place in Mauritius and in our village, Suyak. First of all, our cabana. Our cabana, we got seafood, specialty seafood, fresh one. Just fish in the morning and come at the, our cabin, we just have to cook it, okay? Like octop octopus, fish, prawns, uh, calamari, of course. We got very nice people here, amicably one, like ordinary Mauritian. professional artist, I'm a songwriter and I'm also producing my music and everything and I'm producing all those bands in Lux Hotels and here in the hotel industry. I would like to invite 
um, I'll say like this, invite people to discover Mauritius, the inner Mauritius. Because when you know you are in a hotel, it's very nice, it's very good. We like it, but there's so many things that you need to see, that you need to know about Mauritius. And we always want to be happy because it has good weather all the time. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. The magic of your holiday is not just the hotel, it's the people, it's the place, it's the environment, is to go and see where's the beauty of Mauritius is really found. How to meet people? You just say, hey, <laughs> everybody will come to you. You don't, you don't need to, to go and say, can I talk to you? In Mauritius, you just say, hey, with a big smile. I told you in the beginning, give a smile to someone and the, the, the other people will give you the smile back. This is Mauritius. And once we start with a smile, of course, the hi, the good morning will start and then the conversation will start. Actually, Mauritius is going lots through ecological tourism development also. Actually, Mauritius 2017, we are a real cocktail. I cannot say Africa, I cannot say India, I cannot say English, I cannot say anything. Because Mauritius actually is the center point of the world. We've got everything. Every single people coming from north, south, north pole, south pole, everywhere landing in Mauritius and create this new nation of the world. And it's the example for the world. The good reason to come here is about you. If you feel home, come. And be safe, because this is a safe place. Good food, good environment, good music, and everything good. The spa. Ah, Beach Rouge. Beach Rouge is a wonderful lounge restaurant concept. And this is one of the best houses you can see here yourself. You're sitting here, chilling out. We've got our DJ that is playing every night here. A chill out music, you can have nice food and everything. My name is Nicolas. I'm executive chef at Deluxe Belmar. And I'm very proud to be chef at Deluxe Belmar. Deluxe Belmar is a very nice hotel. And uh, we have a lot of, for me, from my side as a chef, we have a lot of different concepts. It's just fantastic. We have one fantastic uh, Chinese restaurant. We have the restaurant Vinette by Vinette, uh, Star Michelin restaurant, uh, Indian restaurant, and uh, we have restaurant the Biche Rouge, and of course our main restaurant. Hello, good morning. My name is Bilal, I'm barista at Lux Belma. Here we ro do we do our roasting here. We decided to uh, make our own coffee because it is unique and then uh, it's a one uh, and only hotel in Russia that's doing it. Bring the green beans and then we roast it here. It's more fresh. So behind me uh, we have uh, our one, our uh, cold drip uh, coffee. It drips on the coffee, okay, little by little, taking eight to ten hours to drip and to have the subtle natural flavor of the coffee. We have nitro, nitro coffee. Nitro coffee is coffee infused 14 to 16 hours in still water and then we let it infuse with nitrogen gas. It looks like Guinness beer but it's not beer, it's not alcohol, it's just coffee. It's a bit uh, sparkling, you know. Yeah, and at the moment we are in Lux Belma, the ocean villa. And this is a one-bedroom villa, and we have a washroom over there, and this is a swimming pool and the yard from this side. And the ocean, just direct outside of the window. It's a great view here. This is our Lux Suite. It's one of the largest suites in our Lux Pema Resort. And here you can see it's a huge space and with a great view just to direct to face the ocean and also the gazebo, the garden here. And also on the top, we have a um, jacuzzi over there. And it's very private and very relaxed areas here.
Yes, you are at Escal Creole, our traditional family Creole restaurant. Actually, it started with, I started with eight covers. I was 23 years old and I, I came back from my studies in France where I studied hotel management and then I, when I came back I said okay I think there must be a place in Mauritius where our guests from all over the world uh, will be able to come and taste our traditional Creole Mauritian food and I took my mum with me and I told to my mum okay you are going to be the cook I'm going to look after the people and then we'll, we'll be like a, a beautiful team together. And now we are able to cater for around 40 to 60 person at a time. We work only during the day. And then we have people, Mauritian people coming along from, and then from all over the world. The idea behind with my mummy is that we've created this simple place. It's a simple, cozy place where we invite our guests to taste the traditional Creole cuisine in a real, authentic, let's put that, that word, authentic Creole atmosphere. We spend time with the people. Besides eating, I think we can say that coming to Escar Creole remains an experience in itself, so that they can really relax. And it is, it is, it is what Mauritius is about, it's relaxing. Oh, I'm selling medicinal herbs. In fact, what you're looking at is Indian pharmacopoeia, Ayurveda medicine, and the treatment is a lunar cycle treatment. 28 days, just like the moon treatment, with a control diet. Just not giving you a tea, it's a miracle, but you have to have a control diet with the tea you're uh, using, you're drinking. It's a specific from Mauritius. All herbs are from the forest in the mountain of Mauritius. Uh, the business was started by my great-grandfather in the year, exactly in the year 1900. He came from southeast of India to Mauritius, and see the same plant here, that's why I started doing the business here. And uh, since then we've been here since four generations in the market. The herbs are still picked up from the forest and the mountain of Mauritius. And we pick it on the eve of the birth of the moon, that is on black moon, because at that time the juice in the herbs are more powerful. That's why we put it to dry in the shade. And once it started, my great-grandparents were started the herbs to take to drink it when the moon begin, the first day of the moon, and during the 28 days. But actually, no one, no one follow the moon actually. But we still give you the whole mount treatment. The hotel is really particular because we are on 25 hectares. So there are so much experience. We have a horse riding on site. We have uh, around 10 horses. You have a beautiful uh, spa of 3,500 square meters when you can have uh, Ayurveda, Balinese massage, and of course, traditional Mauritian rituals. Then you can have also the beach and pool experience. You can have some uh, romantic experience. We organize some private dinner, picnic at the waterfall because we do have a waterfall. We have a national monument so you can really have a walk uh, and discover the beautiful nature of our park. It's, it's very huge property so you can have, find your space if you want to be relaxed. Uh, but there are some animation, uh, we do have a small animal farm for the kids, a kids club of course, but it's, it's really for both. We are at Chateau Mont Désir, so it's the fine dining restaurant of Maritime Resort and Spa Mauritius. So the Chateau Mont Désir is quite recent because it has been built in 2009 while the, um, the hotel was refurbished. But the old site around is uh, historic. Uh, we have ruins, that, um, the chateau overlooks uh, historical ruins from the 18th century. And uh, one part of the building is the former equestrian center. Good evening, my name is Kavish and one of the restaurant manager of the Maritime Resorts and Spa. So tonight I'm going to show you the art of the sabering. We do it in every restaurant, mostly in the Chateau Montlésir because we have been intronized by the confrérie of the Sabre d'Or. So normally a bottle of champagne is uh, 
two pieces. So we cut it in just in the middle of the bottle, just to, it's the art of the sovereign. It's just at the Napoleon history, and just to celebrate something unusual and something very nice. It's why we do it. So it's a fine dining restaurant, so the chef is Mauritian, it's called Rakesh Minorot. And it's um, actually it's French cuisine mainly, but we use like local products. So the idea was really using French techniques and make discover French cuisine to Mauritius audience, but uh, by using local products and also to the guests of the hotel, obviously. We do have a, a lot of Mauritian artists, but so we do have a lot of gallery in Grand Bay. And then um, in even La Bourdonnais, they do some uh, exhibition and uh, yeah. Everybody understand everybody in Mauritius, maybe an Indian, a European, a um, African, a, a, anything. They all understand each other through that Creole language. And when I say I paint the Creole language, because there is in my work a little bit of every Mauritian. And the Mauritian people, and I feel it when I talk to them, when I meet them in the street, and the way they come to me, the way they talk to me, and the way we communicate, we see that we understand each other beautifully. And all that is thanks to that beautiful Creole language, which is so colorful, so picturesque, and it's a painting by itself. I am putting in each one of my paintings a little bit of color that comes from India, that comes from Africa, that comes from uh, uh, the Métis people, the Creole, the Métis, me. We had, uh, uh, in my youth, a little bungalow, and it was on the beach, in the east, on the east coast, and it was made of thatch, and it was made of ravnala. And when I came back, I went to that same place, and I sat on the sand, and I put my feet in the sand, just where the sea comes through. And in the sand there, it is hot because it has drank the sun all the day, and in that sun kept it just when low. And it made me cry. And this is exactly, exactly the feeling, and this is what I want people to understand about Mauritius. I just want people to try a little fatch and have Nala Bengalewa and then they will know what is Mauritius. For about 150 years, my family has been planting sugar canes and the estate goes over there. And uh, there, there is the family house my grandfather was born there, my father, I was born in the house. And now I just do this small table dot. And uh, I met Marilyn, my associate. She had a restaurant in France. She had the know-how and I had the place. So we made a little company. This car was my father's car. I learned to drive in it. We went to primary school in, in this car. I got married in this car and I kept it. So, but this passion of the old car, I means they are all working? I use them as daily cars because you must keep them working just to have it in good condition. It is a family domain and um, we decided uh, 14 years ago to build the restaurant and uh, we decided to make it table d'hôte because it's easier and uh, there's no need, no need to work at night uh, and uh, it's um, a typically Creole menu, and we do use a lot of things from the garden.
welcome you to the tea plantation of Boisherie. Here you will see the big plantation, it's been here in 1892. And here you see all the plantation, we have 250 hectares for our plantation of tea. And you see the smaller flower, you see it's a camellia synthesis. We have many varieties of leaves of tea. But here, that's what the, the leaf we have here, that's called camellia. And here the picking here, we do only by hand. By machine, we have another pot, the longest leaf, then they have to pick after. Then they have to wait for four to three months to have another harvest in the same place also. The tea is the most impl important in the world also now. Yeah, in the world, because everybody likes to drink tea. Here we have the green tea, the black tea, maybe the white tea, but the white tea is not grown in big quantity over here. It depends about the climate, but the white tea is grown only in India, Sri Lanka. Then the white tea and the picking we just, just do by hand, so gently, just by hand, not by machine. So I invite you to come and uh, do um, the international, well-known La Route du Thé itinéraire, which starts from Le Domaine des Aubineaux in Forest Side. The second stop is Le Domaine de Boisherie, where you can visit uh, l'usine de Boisherie and how the tea tasting at Le Chalet de Boisherie. Uh, Le Thé de Boisherie is well-known worldwide. We export it and in, uh, we also have the Le Chalet de Boisherie where we, uh, we have the tea tasting and you are also able to taste the, the chicken tea. Uh, namely uh, le thé, uh, le poulet au thé and all the dessert uh, where you use the tea as the main ingredient. So I welcome you to the rum factory. I am Julie and I will be your guide for the tour. So the rum factory has opened his door in August 2008. We are the youngest one here in Mauritius to produce rum. So in Mauritius you will have 12 varieties of sugarcane, but in the village of Chamarwell we use only two varieties of them, in which you will have the red sugarcane that you will see here, but you will have also the yellow sugarcane just below. So for the double distilled rum, when the sugarcane juice will arrive, it will come in the copper pot in the middle. It will be heated 30 to 100 degrees. The vapor of alcohol will grow up, it will cool down, it will condense. You will obtain the first rum. We call it the brandy. It contains 30 to 40% of alcohol. This brandy will come here to be heated a second time. 30 to 120 degrees. So this time we will let the rum evaporate for three months and after three months, you will obtain it to 44% of alcohol. Then it's ready to be drink. So thank you very much to have visit our rum factory. I hope you have enjoyed your visit and your tasting. So drink a lot of rum, rum make you younger. Okay, nice visit and nice holidays to you all. In our Paradis Hotel, actually, you have all, everything for everybody. It's the dream of almost all our guests, actually, to be here. <laughs> you can have the green. If you look at this side, you have the green, the mountains, and here you have a blue ocean. So you have everything here. <laughs> you have to go around the world or many places to find these things, actually. <laughs> So when we started here, it was like two small bungalows, and then we we built it, and uh, then we had uh, we had two small hotels, the Mont Brabant and pa Paradis, and then it started, and we continued to build it. And now you see, we have a big hotel here, and we have developed another one, our sister hotel, the Dina Hobin Hotel, at the just uh, by our side actually, which forms part of the peninsula. <laughs>
You can have snorkeling, you can go and see the dolphin, you can go do uh, fishing, you can do many activities here. And you can even, uh, if you would like to do diving, things like that, even if you don't dive, we just uh, initiate you to the diving and then we take you to the sea and see all these things. Uh, I would advise uh, our guests here, if you would like to go and meet people, so to go around here in our villages and see how the people are. You will see that these people, even if they are not in, the, in here, in the hotel, work in the hotel, they have this uh, big humanity in them, like uh, welcoming guests in their, in their place. Uh, so we do have some guests when you, we take them there, we just meet people on the road and they say hi, hello, and these, uh, these people are very friendly to them. Actually, we are at uh, Gulf uh, Beachcomber Paradis and uh, it's a course uh, 18 holes, power 72 and uh, 5,924 meters. This is the best spot for the golf course here at Paradis and uh, it's a beautiful with a view from uh, the mountain at the back, uh, as you see, Le Monde and you have the Indian Ocean surrounding. All right, so before we go further, if we are right handed in golf, you will have to put your left hand on top and the right one down. There's three types of grip, but you can have interlock. Otherwise, second one is overlap or the baseball grip. All right? So I won't force you to choose any one of the three. You feel comfortable with one of them, you will use them. One of Okay, so for the setup, your feet have to be open parallel, approximately the same size with your shoulders. The ball will be in the middle of your leg. Your upper top will lean forward. Left arm remains straight. The right one is slightly bent and relaxed, which is very important to keep your head down on the ball. And the club face square towards your target. And the distance between you and the ball, if you put your thumb in your belly button, you keep one hand open, it will be approximately this distance, head down. As I'm right-handed, I will prepare my backswing to my right part here without lifting my head. And now the line I've been taking my backswing, I have to use the same line on the way down. And coming down faster, sweeping the ground, finishing my club, my swing completely on top there, then I can lift my head and my whole body to watch where I've been hitting the ball. So can you have a shot, yeah. a swing for me? Right. Ready for a ball? Ready. Okay. It's a wonderful place here to play golf, yes. right? You can see the, the view of the mountain. It's one of the best views you can find on the whole island. We got about 10 golf courses. I mean, a new one will be built uh, soon. There will be 10 all together. But this is the only golf course, which is you can have, a lot of people can have fun of it. It's not very difficult. And, and you are not too far from the hotel. You, you can walk to come to the golf course and then you, the advantage is you got 50 meters behind the reception, you got the beach. So you can see we are close to the sea and here behind you, you got the, the Black River Bay, the whole bay and one of the best mountains in the whole Indian Ocean. <laughs> 